staff writer at the Central Voice, and today I'm going to talk about St. Peter Claver's Day. Let's hear what Mrs. Weiner has to say about it. Okay. Hi. Um, St. Peter Claver Day was started about 15 years ago by a teacher named Mike Eisen, and it partners um, a school in Tampa, their kindergarten and first grade students, with our seniors, and it's our kind of service project for the year. The seniors donate all the gifts, um, they pay for the bouncy huts and the cotton candy machine, um, and it's a really great day for the kids over at St. Peter Claver. Amanda Yukovich also wanted to share her experience at St. Peter Claver's Day. So the Here Comes Santa Day slash St. Peter Claver Day was this past Thursday and a bunch of kids from St. Peter Claver came down and we just basically made a fun day for them. We had a bouncy house and um, played outside and did arts and crafts and that's where I was. But my favorite part of the day was when they were about to leave and we gave them um, wrapped presents that we bought for them and when they unwrapped it they were so happy and they were just really excited and really grateful for just like little things that we could have just bought for about ten dollars and it was really um, a rewarding experience. Connor Horrigan also had a great time at St. Peter Claver's Day. My favorite part of St. Peter Claver Day was definitely when my little buddy Ortavian got to sit on Santa's lap because all day he just wanted to go see Santa and he was sad until he was able to see Santa because he wanted Santa to know what he wanted for Christmas. Well, it looks like all the kids had a lot of fun at St. Peter's Claver's Day and the students did too. Signing off until next time! <laughs>